It's a new video and a new topic that is connective tissue. We are already done with epithelial tissue. Now it's done for connective tissue. Connective tissue, it says in the name itself, it brings about some kind of connection. Suppose there's tissue A and then tissue B. In middle, you have connective tissue that holds or binds tissue A and tissue B together. That's why it's also known as binding tissue. Origin. Connective tissue originates from mesoderm. Epithelial tissue originates from all three zoom layers. Connective tissue and muscular tissue originates from mesoderm. And your nervous tissue originates from ectoderm. This you gotta remember. Connective tissue is the most abundantly found tissue. It's found all over your body. And this you'll come to know when you see the various types of connective tissue and learn about them. Because after knowing that, you'll find out that almost everywhere in your body, there's connective tissue. Connective tissue contains three major stuffs. And they are the cells of the connective tissue, fibers of connective tissue, and the ground or the base on which these cells and fibers lie upon. Cells are of various types cells that make fibers, cells that make the base of the connective tissue, cells that is there for protection, various types of cells are found. Fibers, there are two types of fibers that is majorly found. Collagen fibers, which is whitish in color due to the presence of protein collagen, that's why also known as white fiber, and elastic fiber, which is yellowish in color due to the presence of protein elastin, so also known as yellow fiber. Then there's your ground or base on which the cells and fibers lie, which is made up of polysaccharides. And the ground of connective tissue is known as matrix. Let's look at a diagram that shows a typical connective tissue with its typical features. So there are various types of cells present in connective tissue. Cells that make fibers, cells that are there for protection, cells that are secretory in function. And then there are fibers secreted by the fiber secreting cells. These fibers are either made up of collagen or made up of elastin. Both these cells and fibers, they lie upon a matrix or the ground of the connective tissue which is made up of polysaccharide. Okay, now let's look at the various types of connective tissue. Connective tissue can majorly be classified into two types. You have connective tissue proper and specialized connective tissue. Connective tissue proper. It says in the name itself, it's a proper connective tissue. That is, it includes all the typical features that a connective tissue is expected to have. What are those typical features? Presence of cells, presence of fibers, and presence of ground on which these cells and fibers lie upon. While on the other hand, specialized connective tissue are special or different. That is, they don't necessarily obey or follow the, uh, con contain the typical features of a connective tissue. For example, your blood does not contain fibers, but still it's a fluid connective tissue. Connective tissue proper is of two types, loose connective tissue and dense connective tissue. Loose connective tissue is loose, that is the cells and fibers are loosely arranged, while the dense connective tissue is dense because the cells and fibers are compactly arranged. Loose connective tissue. Under this topic, we will be learning areolar connective tissue, which is found all over your body under your skin, and adipose connective tissue, which is your fat storing tissue. Under dense connective tissue, there's again two types. Dense regular connective tissue and dense irregular connective tissue. In dense regular connective tissue, the fibers are arranged in regular fashion. That's why it's called so. In dense irregular connective tissue, the fibers are arranged in irregular fashion. That's why it's called so as well. Under dense regular connective tissue, we'll be dealing with 
two types of connective tissue. Your white fibrous connective tissue called so due to the presence of white fibers that is made up of collagen and collagen is whitish in color. That's why it's called so. And yellow fibrous connective tissue which is made up of elastic fibers which contains protein elastin which is yellowish in color so called so. White fibrous connective tissue is found in your tendon where it provides tensile strength. Tendon is what connects your bone to muscles. And yellow fibrous connective tissue is found in ligaments which provides elasticity. And ligaments are what connects bones to bones. Under specialized connective tissue, majorly we will be discussing two types of connective tissue. Vascular connective tissue or fluid connective tissue, which is called so due to the presence of watery ground. That is the ground on which the cells lie that is watery or fluid. And then skeletal connective tissue, where the ground or the base is compact. Under vascular or fluid connective tissue, we have blood and lymph. Under skeletal connective tissue, we have bones, uh, which is of two types, compact bone and spongy bone and cartilage, which is of four types, hyaline cartilage, fibrous cartilage, elastic cartilage and calcified cartilage. We will be dealing with all these one by one. See you in the next video.